So this video um, is going to show you how to use Holt Winter's method on a data set uh, in Stat Pro and use it to forecast into the future. Uh, we're going to get the RMSC, MAE, and the MAPE related to those forecast errors afterwards and also again use Solver, same as in the Holtz method video. Uh, in this time we're also alpha, uh, optimizing a gamma as well as the alpha and beta. Uh, so this is similar to the Holtz example. I've just uh, actually kind of fudged some data, made it somewhat seasonal here, and uh, it goes from August 2006 all the way down to uh, 2013 here, so up to, sorry, all the way up to March 2013. We'll assume we don't know April through to December, and we're going to forecast those. So again, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine months that we're going to forecast. And again, we have monthly data in this one as well. Now to do whole winter's method, go to your add-ins and stat pro and forecasting. Select your actual data, control shift down, make sure not to grab the question marks. Again, stat pro doesn't like anything but numbers and a header at the top. Click OK. Uh, click on your actual data. And we again have monthly data, and we're going to start it in 2006 in August, which is month 8. And we want to forecast 9 periods like we'd said before. Okay, click OK, and exponential smoothing and winter's method. And I haven't specified an alpha, beta, and gamma. If I did, you could set them up here. If I don't, then just leave these at the default point one point one. One, which is what we're going to do because we're going to optimize them later. Click OK, click OK, click OK. Ignore this error, I'm sorry, and looks like nothing happened, but here we go. Forecast is down here, and here is all of our output. Okay, with all of the errors. So first thing, go get our RMSE square root, the sum squared of all of our errors, and they are over here. Control shift down. Sorry, formula bar here, divide by the count of all of the errors, I'm sure from J3 to J81, good. So again, just going to double click there, there's our formula, okay, and let's just get the other two as well. So get our absolute error, equals the absolute value of our error. Copy that the whole way down and get the ratio as well, which is your absolute error divided by your original data. Good. Copy that the whole way down.
beautiful but better than 76 for our RMSC. Last thing you could do, we'll do that now. What you should always actually do is check to see if your errors are truly random once you're done any forecasting method. So let's take a look at it just quickly here as well. So these errors, either you could make a scatter plot of them if you wish, or you could um, just do the tests on them. So if you did a scatter plot, you'd be looking for a pattern. Now that sometimes can be subjective. So um, best thing you should do is go and do a couple tests on them. First one is the runs test. So under stat pro stats inference, runs test for randomness. Let's go test those errors. Control shift down to grab them all. Click OK. Oh, and I missed one of them. Sorry. Runs test for randomness. Grab all the errors here. Oh, there's a blank one. Okay, hold on one sec here. Let's hit cancel. So if you'll notice here, there's some blank cells. What you need to do for um, Stat Pro to be able to work with that blank cell is put a star in there. Now we're ready. Okay, so Stat Pro Stat Inference runs test. And go grab the errors. It's highlighted everything. Let's see if that works. Okay, and error should work now. Click OK. And do the mean of the series. Always the mean. And let's put it, hmm, well, let's just put it to the right of the data. It's going to get a bit messy, but that's okay. Okay, so p value, if it's over 0 0.05, that's good. That means that our errors are random. That is good. Okay, we're happy with that. There's one more test to do. Okay, under Stat Pro and Summary Stats and Auto Correlations. I'll also, go grab these errors here.